Today I will be mostly eating ibuprofen. So yeah guys, needed to take the day off today just to let my Achilles rest a little bit. Um, they were both this morning uh, playing up when I got up, started up. They seem to be okay the rest of the day. Hopefully the day off's done it. Um, I'm going to talk about my trail runners in a bit. I think it's time to swap them out. Um, but I've been down to Bude. Bude's a nice little place to be honest, it's pretty good. I went to get some food, which was mission accomplished. Spent um, a few hours in the pub watching the football. Great thing about having a day off on a Sunday. Plenty of football to watch. Got some videos uploaded. Caught up on that. Um, problem is none of the places um, that I could possibly get some new shoes from. We're open, being a Sunday, it's like being in the 70s in here. Uh, I've tried to look at ordering some on Amazon Prime, getting next day delivery somewhere ahead of me. But um, there's a limit to the size of um, the package they deliver, so they won't deliver anything like that to a post office in front of me. So my only real choice is to carry on in these shoes. And I'm feeling every stone now. For the last about three days, I have felt every single stone under the forefoot. Heels okay, but under the forefoot, every single stone feels painful. So I think the soles go in them. Um, so my choice is to walk on with them, and there's no real other place to swap them out. Or to wait in till half nine tomorrow, till the shop's open, try and get some new shoes. And that's never a good idea. Starting off breaking new shoes in halfway through a trail, that's a ridiculous idea, but I think I'm going to have to do it. Alright guys, so um, I've had my rest day imbued. My Achilles were kind of, uh, both of them left and right were really clicking at me this morning. So I've spent the day I've profiled myself up, just resting, and I've got myself some supplies for the next few days as we're leaving a major town. So, um, I needed some toothpaste, needed some shampoo, my beard, I'm going to let grow a bit, but I can't deal with a hairy neck, so some razors, I'll only use one of them and throw them all away, shaving stuff. Uh, what I generally do for food in the day is take some wraps which I make up with chorizo and I've got some there we go I've got some smoked uh, cheese to go with the chorizo which I make up on the wraps these are really good because they're kind of they don't go off and wraps obviously light portable don't squash like bread or sandwiches um, I've got braise snacks to keep me going in the day breakfast bars for breakfast a couple of mug shots they'll make one meal and I've got like an emergency kind of wafer as meal that I keep as a backup in case I just completely run out of food and um, that's my resupply right guys so I'm going to do a little review of these uh, trail runners these are the New Balance uh, MT620s and they have been actually really good. I've always been fairly traditional and uh, had walking boots. Watching a lot of the videos of Americans that do walking, they all seem to have swapped to trail runners, so I thought I'd give it a go. These have been pretty decent. I uh, got them off Amazon for about 38 quid, which is an absolute bargain. Um, I've read, not read, but I've watched on YouTube videos that most trail runners last between four and six hundred miles obviously um, a good pair of boots will last much longer than that probably three times four times longer than that so while they're cheap it's probably worth um, considering them because you'll have to replace them a few times so what do I like about them the heels quite thick the whole sole is very thick to be honest and I am really cushiony 
The sole's called Kush Plus. Come on, focus. There you go. The grips um, have worn out quite a bit now. They were very grippy when I first had them. I've almost wore these smooth. They're about 450 miles in. Um, the cushioning's been really good on them, to be fair. Only just now, last three or four days, I'm starting to feel everything at the front. Uh, cushioning's still good at the back, but I think the integrity is giving up on the front. Uh, at the very front, the toe, normally, by a pair of trainers, that comes unglued within seconds. That's still stayed solid and glued. It's been really good. The front little plastic toe protector seems to do the job. I've stubbed my toe a few times, but haven't hurt it at all. I've kicked things and been okay. Also, this plasticiness of it is really good at kind of keeping water out. You can walk through wet grass, which normally soaks your trainers, but that, that little bit does enough to keep the wet off your trainers. This mesh is very breathable. Um, excellent, dries out with seconds, you probably saw me putting them under the hand dryer. I dried both pairs out from soaking wet in under five minutes. Uh, boots obviously stay dry a lot longer, but then they can take days to dry out, so that's a plus for them. The downside of this mesh is it does let little bits of dust and grit in, so, and your feet are absolutely black after you've had a day's walking. Um, but structurally they've stayed intact quite often they uh, tear through there but these have stayed intact like I said 450 miles roughly in the laces have been good I don't know if that multi-tone is because they're two different textures but when you lace them up they do not slip they do not let go um, inside you can see inside that one they're wearing on the instep of my heel and the same on this one, there you go, um, the first few times I wore them uh, they gave me blisters in that exact same spot but it just looks probably that's where my heel is a bit bigger than most people's and just that's the spot that it rubs for me, they're really lightweight, I've been really happy with them um, and I think at the minute the uh, I'm, like I said, I'm about 450 miles in, and that front of the that um, the cushioning on the sole is just giving in now. I'm just starting to feel uh, every rock and every stone under my foot. But would I give these a big thumbs up? Yeah, I really would. They've been fantastic, and I just think I've got to the end of the lifespan of them.